The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest back in the building. My God, my dog. This is our third time doing this. Big motherfucking boogie. What's up, bro? What's good, bro? How's it going, man? Every time you look a little bit richer than last time. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know if you had these grills last time, though. I didn't. You didn't, right? I didn't. Last year when when the definition of Big Dude came out? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I um I had some more, but these some different ones though. These got red rubies in them. Oh, excuse the so fuck. So they out of different. Excuse I just had them all all baguetted at first. Now I got baguettes with the rubies in them. My fault. So. My fault, bro. You got, <laughs> you, you got a little bit more money now. It's yeah, okay. You good? Oh, these aren't perms, right? No, Mm-mm. no, okay. no. I ain't finna fuck. I, I feel like that's the first. I thing can't I fuck my teeth off. You know, because I feel like we. I had like this little stretch last year where I kept getting Florida rappers, uh-huh. and they kept being like, "Yeah, these are perms. These are perms. These are perms." And I'd be like, "Damn." Yeah, permanent, permanent, like you, it stop your teeth from breathing. So this should be, should yeah, be rotting yeah, your yeah. teeth. But those be, but those be. Coming yeah, out. mine, yeah, mine come out. I got, per, I got <laughs> pearl. I got my shit loud, good. The teeth is fully white underneath. Yeah, those. Bro, I, ain't, I ain't got time for that. I ain't finna fuck, fuck them off and make them go Duke Brown. Like nah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it be. Well, how you been, bro? We we ain't seen each other in a year. Uh, definition of big dude was just getting ready to drop. Uh, last time, only feature Fat Trail, which Trail came on the show after and spoke very highly of you. Oh, uh, this is my um, family. How you feeling, man? How, how, how do you feel like, with that project, how do you feel like was the reception of it? You happy with it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with anything I do, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm happy, though, but I like everything about it, though, so shit. I'm ready. Can't I ain't gonna complain. lie, but, but can't complain. I'm blessed, can't complain. You know, I, like, I was kind of counting up, like, your wins over the past year. Um, I saw Wicked Films posted that y'all just hit 100 mil. Hundred million. Um, on uh, mental healing. Uh huh. Right. Uh, pop out. Gold now. Gold. Gold. Uh, <laughs> and then we're, this week, uh, well, the week that we're dropping this, right? Um, I think like in 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 celebration of all the achievements, like we got a gangster grills this week, man. Yeah. And when we're recording, this is a little bit before the tape come out. You actually about to announce it in like I think the next thirty minutes. Once you're done here. Yeah. Um, ahead of this announcement of this tape, how you feeling? I'm ready. I ain't gonna lie. I'm ready to take the world. I know. I know what's up. I, I know this to tape. I know. I put my all in. I know this is what the streets need. This is what they was missing. This is what they wanted me to go back to. And mm. this that this that type of way. Mm. You said it's what they missing. What they want want you to go back to. Right. Mm. What you mean by that? Like the old me. Like like the new me. Like it's cool. Like okay. Like like my fans like me making dance and music. Right. Like, like you know what I'm saying. Like fun music. Other than the gangster music. Like the gangster music is cool. Like right. it's cool they hear me, they understand me, they but yeah. go back. Like I'm just going like I want the women to go more crazier than what they doing. Right. Cause like the gangster music is like what you said, is like what you came up on, right? Before you really started making the music for like the strip clubs and the clubs in general and shit like this that. This did. Like everything, all the gangster music, this I came up off all that. I right. saw all that. I seen all that. I was around it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like, but it's like me personally did I don't even care for that. I care for the them, bang, them bangers that's in the club and females going crazy hanging from the ceiling and all that. I like that. Right. It makes you feel better, too. Made me feel better. But then you say that this is kind of like, you know, uh, well, by the time people see this, it's announced Red Rum Wizard out this Friday when y'all see this. Uh-huh. Um, you said this is like that return to form. So is this kind of like that gangster me, or, or is it like a balance that nah, you're trying to achieve on this project? It's, I, went, I went up a notch. Okay. I went up a notch. And, and, and I got, I got some, some songs is personal. Hmm. But basically, the angle like the whole thing is personal, to be honest. But it's it's a it's a it's a it's a like a up to date, a up to date personal like you know what I'm saying? Like like I'm a whole new person now. Like what do you mean by that? Like, like what like what are you giving on this project that like you mean by it's more personal? Like this the type of project long some shit like yeah this 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 I run, like I run the world like this is mm-hmm. what type of mindset I got like the mind, the world is yours yeah so that's what type of shit I'm on and and a wizard like can't nothing be the wizard mm-hmm. nothing wizard is like wizard got the same powers as God do right you know what I'm saying so it ain't nothing better than the wizard I ain't nothing I mean, red rum like you know that's me you know what I'm saying so I'm the red rum wizard like you know what I'm saying my whole camp is red rum mm-hmm. like everybody with me red rum from from aunties, mamas, right. real deal, grandmas, kids, everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah. everybody, this is a Red Rum family. Like, and I'm the top wizard. Like, I'm over everybody. Like, it ain't no gang or nothing. We just family. Mm. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I just put everything we went through and how I'm thugging and put it in my music. Now, um, it being a Gangster Grills, right? Um, is is having a Gangster Grills tape and drama be a part of it? Is this something that you've always wanted? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I just didn't, I want, I ain't know what he, I ain't know how to get in touch with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and I mean, sometimes when you, when you, when you coming up, mm. like celebrities like that, like it's hard to even reach them. Right. It's hard to meet celebrities like that. Like, them folks, oh, legends. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, mm. you got to be some type of person in the streets around the world to even bump heads with them folks like that. Right. So, when I hit him up, he, um, I was like, uh, I'm a big fan of you, bro. I uh, can't wait to work with you. He said, that's crazy. Yo, I was just talking about you yesterday. I mm. said, that's crazy. So, we he changed numbers. And on top, he was like, when we working? He was more ready than me. Really? And I'm like, hey, I picked all the songs. I called him to the studio. Let him hear everything. You know, it was that he loved everything. He was like, I'm ready. Oh, he was rushing me though. He was rushing me. He was like, Come on, let's go. Like, what, what, the, what we doing? I'm like, I'm traveling. He traveling. Then we got we we did it. He did it in front of me though. I'm like, Whoa, no cameras, no nothing. He did it right in front of me. So you actually like so? I saw I, him do it. I want to backtrack on this, right? Yeah. So this isn't even something that like was set up on any label. Not this was a very None. like a very personal connection yeah. that you and Drama had made with each other. Yeah. to make this tape happen. Yeah. That's fire. But man. it's but it's like soon I bumped it to him, I asked Juke, I asked Juke Rich to piece so Rest in peace, uh, Juke, um, yeah. I asked him, I was like, bro, what you think I should do against the grills? He was like, Hell yeah, shit yeah. He was like, Yeah, they fit you. He was like, do it. And I <laughs> did it. You feel what I'm saying? Now it's gonna drop this Friday. That's crazy, man. With the doing it in the you said no cameras, nothing, and you finally get to see Drama do what he do on these Gangsta Grills tapes in person, right? Yeah. No cameras in the room, just y'all. No, just us. What is that experience like? And how does and and did Drama go to you for any kind of like pointers on like where you wanted him to take his narrative on the project? I mean, yeah, we we was talking, and he I I really just let him do him, and I don't think I told him to just say rest in peace Lil Q that's my little brother so mm -hmm. and he did it he was like but everything else my, he, we were just me him the engineer and my people like my other people was in the other room we were just me and him <laughs> right. in this room and I'm like damn bro, this this drama like DJ drama this gangsta girl yeah. he right here right and he, he fuck with me I fuck with him and I, I really appreciate him for that I feel like that's also just a testament to you being a genuine person too. Yeah. Like I think about when we, a year ago, we had Trell on the project, right? Yeah. And I think you were telling me about how like you were a fan of Trell yeah. at the time and Trell was locked up, but you had reached out to Trell through a jail car or something like that. Yeah. And then that's how you and Trell first became friends. Yeah. Um, I think it's cool how, how you're able to like maintain this level of like just being a good person and just being a fan of people and like showing genuine love to people mm -hmm. uh, in this game and, and being like, yo, Trell, I'm a fan of you. Right, and then you make it happen, or like, yeah. or drama is like, yo, I'm a fan of you, and then drama is like, damn, this is like, it, it feels like everything that you do is very uh, intensive and also like, kind of like manifesting in a way, like you, it just happens for you. You feel me? Yeah. Is is that weird? For, is that weird for you to even like, no, like know, as you go through it, experience that? Because I, I know my heart big and I know I'm genuine, so mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna yeah. go far anyway. You feel what I'm saying? Only thing I gotta do is just stay safe. Right. It's all I gotta do, and I do that. You feel what I'm saying? So I rather stay at home other than. Go out there just being in the mix. Like yeah. something happened out the blue. Like it be it be the end of Sebastian. They don't even be the direct targets. You feel what I'm saying? So why would I put myself in it and I know what type of life I'm living? Mm. Like, nah, it's over. Right. But we feel like this album's going this is the one. This the one. This the one. This the one for sure. This the one. You this know, the one. Um, since we uh also I saw you have posted the Rich Valentine's Day shit, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. But people going to see this like a week after Valentine's Day because uh, of the project. But like, yo, what? break down what a Rich Valentine's Day is. A Rich Valentine's Day is like, like, is, uh, like, you, like this a rich per like, this a rich guy. Mm. Like everything he do, a, a, a dude that's not rich cannot do it. Right. Like in, unless he got a good ass job. But keep in mind, like, what's better than a rapper? I'm just being honest. Respectfully. What, what, respectfully. Like, respectfully. What, 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 like anybody that's successful, they got money. Yeah. They, they, they's on a different type of level than, than, they, than they old life. Right. What, what's better than that? What do you, how are you providing a rich Valentine's Day to somebody? Like. Like, what's, like what, are, what are you doing? Just be extra with everything. Like, just. She, she ain't even thought, thought about getting. I like, saw the car. Was that part of? Yeah. <laughs> Like that, you feel what I'm saying? Like, who, like who, like you feel what I'm saying? You gotta, if you fuck with this girl, you gotta fuck with her, right? Feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, G wagons, it, all every girl love a G wagon. Beans is, mm -hmm. they love it. 
They don't like, I mean, some of them like scat packs and Hellcats and shit, but that's everybody knows Audis, Benz's, mm. you feel what I'm saying, G Wagons, yep. Rolls Royces. They liked it. Yeah. They like Lamborghini trucks. They liked it. Girls liked it. Mm. So, okay, bird flowers, car. You know what I'm saying? Time. Rich Valentine's Day. Rich Valentine's Day. You nah, know what I'm saying? You know, like, I, think, I think this time last year you was going to do a Valentine's Day show with, was it Trina? Uh -huh. I think. That was the time. Yeah, we did see this, literally yeah. this time last year, hard. man. They were hard. I did it too, and it, it was it went crazy. So how are you spending your Valentine's Day this year? I'm lit. I'm, uh, I'm working, though. Rich Valentine's Day. I'm working, though. Yeah, Rich Valentine's Day, I'm telling you. you got to, it, it, it's, it's, it's relaxing. You know what I'm saying? You're away from everybody, but mm -hmm. this time... I'm out of town. I'm I'm I'm, I'm being I'm, I'm waking up in New York on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I for, also forgot with the um on on the project, right? We got a couple features on the project, right? So we got Glow on the project. We got uh, Lola, Gotti, and we got Big Lola, right? Yeah. Now I like I'm excited for the and, Lola uh, record. Bank Road Jizzle. Oh, and Bank Road Jizzle. Make sure you go check the project out uh, uh -huh. this Friday. But I want to talk about Lola, right? Because we in New York, right? Yeah. Um, you big boogie. Yeah. She's big gator, right? <laughs> yeah. The height difference is also there too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's the relationship with you and Lola like? Like how did y'all I, I ain't never met Lola. Lola. You never got to meet Lola? Lola ain't never met me. I ain't never met her. It was just like they like the label like, hey bro, I think Lola should sound good on this. And I'm like, Lola, I'm like, I heard of her. Like I see her everywhere on the internet. Right, don't I play with her. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I heard all that. If I'm, I heard it. I'm, you know, I'm in Memphis, so in Atlanta, like we heard. It. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. everywhere, especially Atlanta. It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. All the women in the world heavy on Lola. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, I, so I'm like, okay, cool. So when she got on the she got on the record, I'm like, hard. Right. So she hit me up. She was I was hitting her, but she was busy. Then when I got busy, she hit me up. <laughs> so I'm like, man, look, there you go. <laughs> that's that superstar life. So what is the what is the record with Lola like? Is it kind of like is it turn. it's some turn shit? It's, it's called turn. Club? It's called turn. Yeah, like up there, you ain't sitting down at all. Word, I'm excited for that. Yeah. So what else we have planned for the rest of this year, man? More tour shit. More tours. More. Um, I want to do. I want to do more interviews. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I love to have conversations. Yeah. So, um, I want to start. I'm, I'm gonna start acting. Like in movies, okay. You feel what I'm, I'm, see looking, that for you. I'm looking forward to that. Um, like basically, like I'm just showing more of my personal life. Like you feel what I'm saying, mm -hmm. just showing everything I do more this year, right? Other than just laying back, just showing off shows and yeah. Other than showing off the rich life, I'm showing off the the, 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 the real yeah. the real the real life. You feel what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and but mixing it together, and they were like, okay, all right, okay. You be good with your own podcast. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. For real? Yeah, I think you be. I think you would have a good podcast. I, I ain't never heard that. I ain't never heard that. Cause you funny. Yeah, I am. And you be spinning game. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. What's some things that've been on your mind lately? Um. Don't look at me like that. What? Like why you? Why you look at uh, me like that, bro? What's been on my mind lately? Um. Basically, just winning. Just winning. Winning. Um. Getting people away from me that ain't for me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Um. Like. Basically, like doing as in my career, like yeah. I'm, 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 I'm locked in. Like that's the more thing I'm locked in on. You know what right. I'm saying because without without this career, I'm just a, I'm just a human being. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But with this career, though, I'm a superstar. Though, like you I'm a superhero. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real wizard. So that's I'm gonna stick to that. I love the wizard life other than the normal life. You know what I'm saying? Other than human mm -hmm. life, I love I love the I love I love that wizard life. I ain't gonna lie, you be you make a great motivational speaker too. Yeah, got to bro. Like. I can't do nothing but give away game and drop jewels and give flowers. Mm. My heart's good. I ain't got nothing. Up, I ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody. Mm. Like nobody. Period. Like nobody. Never diss nobody. I ain't gonna diss nobody. Like I don't care. Like you. You not my business. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I stay in my lane with a lot of shit. That's a red rum wizard. That's a red rum wizard. Like I mind my business. That would make okay. Yeah, he mind his business. He don't be in nothing. He don't be in the mix. Yeah. And he on his shit. In real life, in in on the superstar life, oh yeah, sure. daddy, he he killing the daddy shit, yeah, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on my business in real life. Like even if I'm not on it, I'm gonna get on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. a real wrong wizard.
Red Room. We're good out this Friday. Well, look, man, I appreciate you coming back. Always sure. good time. To- uh, good seeing you for the third time. Third. Um, by the time people see this, uh, freestyle now go run that up. That shit is fire. Um, like it, like if you missed his performance from last year, go check that out too. He's Mr. One Take in this shit too. I just want to make it a point. Boogie come in here, he do the one take, you do the interview, he on his business time and he on to the next shit. You feel me? And like I got it. I got nothing but respect and love for that, bro. So I appreciate you as always. Oh, look, um, bro. again, Red Rum Wizard out this Friday, Gangster Grills, hosted by DJ Drama. Uh before we get up out of here, bro, anything else you want to let the people know where they can follow you at, all that good stuff. Now's the time to do it. This camera on the right, right here. You know the drill. Big Boogie Music, Instagram, big underscore boogie underscore music. Twitter, big boogie, big big dude, everything, everything, big dude, big dude, big boogie, big dude, whatever. Big Type boogie, it in, big dude, up. all that shit, man. Well, look, make sure you go check out the project again sure. out this Friday for the thousandth time. Go tune in, go run up the freestyle. Make sure, sure you go it. show us some love, go show us some support. Love is free, support is free. But child, already knew that. Till next time, big boogie on the radar. We out, bow, my brother. Sure, brother. Love.